if as a salesperson you want to be successful, it's your responsibility. As a sales manager, if you want your sales team to be successful and inevitably, you know, you'll be getting overrides over, uh, from them and, 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 you know, of course you'll be successful as well, um, then it's your responsibility. As a VP of sales, you want to move up to uh, CEO uh, at the end of the year during the g general meeting, um, then you want your sales teams to hit their targets. Uh, rather than sitting there trying to justify, well, you know what, it was a bad year, bad market, that's why we didn't hit, those, hit our numbers. It's the responsibility of whoever wants the success. So, but at the end of the day, what I'm really trying to say there is it's, it's, it's everyone's responsibility. It, from top down, if the VP could care less about the performance of, of, of the sales team, well, that's going to show. Uh, same with the sales managers and the salespeople. So, uh, so the salespeople, as a salesperson, you can only control your own actions. You cannot control your sales manager. You cannot control your clients. Uh, you, you, you try to maintain control, but at the end of the day, if the client says no, I mean, you're gonna rebuttal and you're gonna do your objection handling, you're gonna do everything. But at the end of the day, you're not going to close everybody. And that's just a, a cold, hard fact that you need to learn and understand. And it's, it's a numbers game at the end of the day. So uh, stay motivated, read books, read as much as you can. There's some really good books out there, not all mine. There's other people have really good books and really good methodologies out there as well. I learned from them. Uh, I've got mentors that, that I'd, I'd say are fantastic and then there's some people that are out there that you should probably stay away from.